All right, all right, Israel. Let's get down to it with no time to bullshit. Let me say grace and peace be unto you. From our Elohim, the Holy One of Israel, the Holy One of Israel, we want to ask this big Judah nigga uh, about a certain question. Who are um? Who are these people right here, bro? Who are these people right here? It says Mexico finally recognized its black citizens. Mexico finally recognized is black citizens huff post so you can look it up for yourselves all you brothers and sisters who aspire to know the truth all right so now we want to go over here to um i want to read to you again uh mark in the sixth chapter check this out it says and whosoever well let me go back mark six and ten and yahweh shah said unto them in what place soever Ye enter into an house like the house of Israel, the house of YouTube, the house of Big Judah. There abide until ye depart from that place. We have not departed. Get a lot of comments from you niggas out here talking this bullshit about why are we continuing to go down on this thing. Well, you ask the Heavenly Father why he's continuing his message to warn Israel from him. Why he continues to warn your ass about these liars of Israel. He ain't talking about the heathen. He talking about Israel. So you ask the heavenly father and Hamashiach why they keep warning you. Take heed that ye that ye, no man deceive you. Then you ask yourself why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I was told. Mashiach is doing it because he was commanded. You understand that? It says, and whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you, when ye depart thence, shake off the dust, dust under your feet for a testimony against these niggas. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment for that city. So Big Judah. YouTube and all the churches at YouTube, you heard what the blood red letters of Hamashiach Yach said. If you will not receive us nor hear us when we bring in this truth as it is written unto your ass, it will be more tolerable for Sodom and for Gomorrah than for your ass in the day of judgment. And we know the Heavenly Father rained fire and brimstone on Sodom and Gomorrah but it will be more tolerable in the day of judgment for Sodom and Gomorrah than for your ass. Now, big Judah and all you espousers, like you nut riders, like he can went and got his homeboy. That's what they act like. This is a matter of homeboys. Nigga, we all fellow servants of the most high power of Israel. And we supposed to go out and do what? Warn these niggas from him. That's what he said, Ezekiel 33rd chapter, that when he bring the sword on their ass, if we don't warn you all of him, he said, then I hit their blood. When he bring the sword on their ass, they shall be taken away in their iniquity, but their blood shall be on our hands. And I don't want that on my hands. You understand that? So now with that out the way, Mexico finally recognized this black citizens. Afro-Mexicans. So they just getting around to recognizing them as citizens. This is 2016. But I thought these Aztecs, the goddamn Indians that they call Mexicans, I thought they was the, the tribe of Issachar. That's what you got. Let me pull up the, uh, the tribe's chart. It says... Let's read it right here. I got a picture of it right here. It says, here it is right here. It says, I don't think you can see it. Uh, you can go online and look at it, 12 tribes chart. It says, Ishakar, Mexicans. And in parentheses, it says, Aztecs. Where's the Afro-Americans? Oh, excuse me, Mexicans. 
You ain't calling them no goddamn Aztecs. So we need to know where are these Afro-Mexicans? The government of Mexico is just now recognizing them as of three years ago, January 27th. I'm listening. But you niggas are out here upholding this wicked ass bastard that's teaching you this bullshit and denying his people. So let me ask you this, Big Judah, if your ass is a nigga. And I done had people tell me they seen some video of you supposing to be some nigga. Why don't you show your face? If you is a nigga, how in the hell are you up here talking about some Aztecs or the tribe of Issachar, but you ain't got these Afro-Mexicans, the niggas that look just like this? And let me tell you something else. This big nigga talking this foolery out here, uh, riding big Judas nuts, talking about niggas don't have their hair combed when they come on the damn video. You see, I don't got it combed again today. What you some type of goddamn uh, corporal type of shit, nigga? The hell you talking about? You see that? A lot of nut riders out here. You know how to see me, 313-588-1400. Two, three. I take all the calls. You see that niggas blowing smoke on us uh, who like us, love us, don't like us, who with us, ain't with us. It don't matter. You see that we can get down to it. You see that big Jude. I want you to answer this question. Who are these Afro Mexicans that you ain't calling Aztecs? You see that Huff Post Mexico finally recognizes it's black citizens it's afro mexicans as they also put it answer that question your 12 tribes shot you niggas out here espousing this bullshit and upholding this wicked son of a bitch you be admonished you understand that because you cannot you cannot follow false prophets unless you uh, uh run the risk of receiving the same punishment Ezekiel 14, 9 through 10. Again, I keep banging it home, hoping that you niggas will depart from the teachings of men and adhere to the word of the heavenly father as it is written. Instead of popping this bullshit that you popping, you understand that? At me and the brother Masha, because we bringing the truth unto your ass. Are we therefore your enemy? I thought we were doing as we were told, as we were commanded. You would swear, though, we doing the evil wickedness. Job told you, what did Job, what did Job say? Said, uh, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. So this bullshit you keep niggas keep on posting on, on these comment boards about, uh, well, he had some things off and some things. What did, the, what did Job just tell your ass? You can't bring nothing clean out of a dirty. Not one. I'm listening. Instead of loading up these comment boys, why don't you go load up Judah, Big Judas, and ask him about these motherfucking uh 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 these charts or these this this twelve tribes chart and how it is that it has Ishakar being some fucking Aztecs, but it ain't said nothing about the Afro Mexicans that look just like me with the nappy hair like me and your ass do that for me see that again uh he that justifieth the wicked and condemn he that condemneth the just both are abomination unto the heavenly father so keep running your mouth go ahead on that day of judgment it's going to be more tolerable for sodom and gomorrah than for your ass who don't receive us and hear us Speak these words as they are written. Niggas up here talking this weak shit about niggas combing their hair. Why are you with this bullshit? Why are you espousing this nigga Big Judah? That's because you one of these uh, 12 tribe chart subscribers, your, your own self, nigga. That's why. Talking about, oh, we, we hit back around here. We don't turn the other cheek. So now you saying you don't do what the scripture said do? You see that? You testify against your goddamn self every time you open your mouth. You see that? But like I said, 313-588-1423. Anybody and everybody's welcome. That's our Negroes. You see that? 
So holler back at me, Big Judah, and anybody else when you want to come on, make me understand how you got Issachar as the tribe, uh, uh, as the Aztecs, and you ain't said Nathaniel about these Afro Mexicans that look just like me and you. Mm hmm. If you is a nigga, we can't see your face. I told you, show your face then. All this shit about his arm. Fuck his arm. And if we get another soft, wet in the, wet in the panties ass nigga on here asking us about language and all that, fuck all that. Let's deal with the issue at hand. The issue is I love Israel. I understand what my salvation is predicated on. Who have I done it to? Her? Him? Hell no. I have done it to Hamashayak, whether it be a good thing or a bad thing. You see that? And with that being said, Israel, let me say grace be unto you and peace from our Elohim, the holy, the holy, the holy one of Israel. He don't accept Mexicans and whoever the fuck else. He said he shall not give his honor to enough. You see that? 48th chapter of Isaiah. Go read it. See, he don't give away his honor. He don't sell his birth. He ain't like you niggas that sell your birthright. Go check out that convening too and learn what the what the whole significance of Esau is. See that? We ain't playing no games. Souls is on the line. You understand that? And we give a damn. That's why. Because uh, m along with much sorrow comes mu much wisdom comes much sorrow. See that? This is sorrowful that we have niggas trying to bring truth unto niggas that don't want to hear. But uh, we've been well prepared for that. Shalom, Israel.